<laughs> okay, so guys, I told you guys, uh, say Nami Gode with Engineer Debo today to carry on with uh, the journey, the property matter, and all of that. So, guys, thank you so much uh, for staying in tune. Of course, uh, you know, say so every Tuesday, from 8.30 to 9, we'd always discuss everything we guys do with real estate, land, properties, property matter. Okay, so that means everything where they surround property or everything we guys do with property, we'd always discuss. And of course, we'd always get Engineer Debo here to carry us through the journey. And obviously, for this year, they'll be start with something new, property market review in 2021. So how far out where properties be, I guess. You know, they've been talking so much about that. And he's definitely ready to continue with this yes. boy. But good to have you, Good morning, morning. Good morning. Same here, same here, same here. How have you been? Thank God, I'm well. Hope Very you well. have adjusted to the new year already. Yeah, uh, I think I adjusted since last year. She, she, <laughs> see, before you even enter the year, you, know, uh, you, you entered well. before you were like the crossover. I just, I just rescheduled some things. You you know, know, but I for guess. me, it's more like, I knew it was going to be a continuation. Kind you know, of. So it's more like, mm. obviously we're hoping for a better year. Yes, in so every it, it has to be a better mm. year. We got to laugh. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, viewers. Good morning. How have you been? Uh, yes. We will continue what we started last week, like uh, Slimmy said. And if you missed last week, you want to get on to WAP TV YouTube channel, yep, go to yep, Property yep. Matter, mm -hmm. and uh, enjoy yourself yes, after sir. this edition. Mm -hmm. um, also, past episodes, lots of, I mean, hundreds of episodes, <laughs> really, uh, there for you to benefit from. Right? Okay, no, maybe not up to 100 yet, but at least. But they have enough. Because it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're enough. It's more than channel. enough. Yeah, more than, than enough. Okay, for you to catch up on. So, we started reviewing the year, property wise, 2020. And uh, the last episode, we talked about the fact that prices are phew, skyrocketing hmm. and construction price is definitely expected to go up. Uh, the little good news is that, well, cement <laughs> price has also started to come down a bit. We hope that uh, that will continue and probably to get back to where it we was, started right? the journey from. <laughs> I think at, about the last time I checked, it was about 2.9. 2,900. Yeah, that's from about 3, <laughs> 3, 5, 3, 6 at a time, you know. <laughs> so it's coming down a bit. Let's hope that it gets back to that 2.6. Which was also an increase, kind of before. But at least if it gets right. back there, we know that that's where we started wow. from, kind of. So that's 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 one good news. And um, cement, if you know, is a major uh, input in the construction. Can you uh, build it? Yes, cement. yes, yes. <laughs> Reinforcement is another one, you know. But you see, every other thing, sands, granite, all of those things have increased, and they are not really coming down like that. So still expect that construction prices would go up which would definitely directly impact on house prices. But the thing with property is that it takes a while for these prices to start to reflect uh, in the markets, in the open market, where that, that is to say that for property prices to go up. But if the increases are sustained for a good length of time, you can expect that it would impact on the prices in the market. We also said that because of our age-long uh, debt in the infrastructure mm. uh, network, mm. um, you should expect more and more redevelopments okay. uh, in this, uh, this period. There has been redevelopment, but more and more. So a lot of places, a lot of our old uh, brownfield places, that is places that have been developed before, mm. you know, but that most houses there are probably uh, at obsolescence level now will be gaining more and more redevelopment. So you see a lot of activity happening in the areas like Ibute Meta, uh, Yaba, Surulere, Itire, you know, uh, Maryland, Onigbongbo area particularly. All of those areas, okay, will witness much more development even this year. Why? Because you know that within those areas there are some level of infrastructure at least. People mm -hmm. can easily commute to work and things like that when they stay in those areas. As against coming from Ikorodu, coming from uh, Ipaja, Songo, Abuliegba, coming from Ekpe, mm -hmm. you know, Ibejuleki and all of that. As against all of that, they, are, they can easily develop. So, they can easily uh, make use of existing infrastructure. So, redevelopment would happen. Now, because also the economy is a bit unstable, hmm. um, a lot of people will be weary 
putting a lot of their money in certain investments. And so real estate will gain ground. For one reason, the economy is unstable. Two, interest rate has fallen. For those two reasons, real estate will be one of the investment options that people will explore a lot. Yeah. So a lot of people, because they know that, well, when the economy becomes unstable like this, one thing you can do is to just tie your money down with real estate. Yeah. Because over some time, you know that you still have the benefit of it. And that is probably the one that you can say is one of <laughs> the safest, you know, that you at least, you don't need to be a magician or a genius to be able to predict where it will go, you know. Once you just buy land or you or you build a property, you know that well. Over thirty years, over fifty years, you are good, you know. So a lot of people will put their money there also because, like I said, interest rate is also low, you know. So compared to placing their money in the bank or things like that, they would rather put it in real estate. So there is likelihood to be oversupply. Yes. What do we mean by oversupply? In an economy where the um, uh, the purchasing is low because people inflation has eroded purchasing power, and uh, people are supplying, they are bringing in more properties. More properties mm. are being constructed. It means that we will get to a situation where there are more properties in the market than mm. there are demands. Mm. You know, so properties will be staying on the market for a, a long, long time, time before. Mm. They are taking so that is oversupply. Expect uh, oversupply this uh, period. So what I would advise for people that are investing mm. uh, is that watch out for properties that have um, that have higher probability of being taken. Okay, and go into property development for the long haul. Have your plan B to be the long haul plan. What do I mean by that? So if I want to develop in a certain area. One thing I should ask myself is the type of properties that they mm. easily buy in those areas. Yeah. If, for example, flat apartments uh, or smaller unit apartment, three bedroom, if it's a terrace or a flat, as compared to four bedroom terrace, as compared to five bedroom terrace, you know, or standalone, I can do that. Why? Because I know that the rate at which those ones get taken up, mm. okay, in the market is faster than the bigger unit. So I stand a chance to be able to sell in better time. That's number one. Number two, my plan B, long-term plan B could be, let's assume that I really could not even now sell it. Mm -hmm. I can easily rent out a two-bedroom flat as compared to how I will be able to easily rent out a three-bedroom, mm. as compared to I can easily rent out a one-bedroom, mm. as compared to how I will easily yeah, rent, rent out, out a two-bedroom, a three-bedroom, two yeah. three mm. or, a, or mm. a duplex, you know. So you want to be able to lean on the side of caution by doing those kind of uh, higher demand property mm. units that are in higher demand, mm. okay? So that's how you can help yourself to ensure that you mitigate the risk of um, oversupply, which is a risk that will definitely play out in this market. You can, you can say that again, okay? Then, I think I mentioned this earlier when I was talking about the supply that we'll have our supply. A lot of investment will come into real estate this year. I expect that a lot of investment will come into real estate. So people that are into real estate business, if you know how to position yourself, if you know how to offer very good uh, an attractive investment, mm. secure and attractive investment to people, you will get a lot of patronage. Why? Okay. Because their options are getting limited. Mm. Um, the other options are very volatile. One of popular option that is all over the place right now, uh, when you talk about crypto stuff, right. but it's very, mm. it's very volatile. Mm. You know, very volatile, uh, especially if you want to be trading in it, <laughs> and if you want to buy it for keeps. It's also not really it's high now. It may be as low as anything under one Never or two stable. years. So, and if you want to be trading it, you really need some expertise. So, some people may not have the appetite for that. They may not have the appetite for that. Or they may not want to, of course, put a lot of their resources on that. So, if they have a 100% pulse, they may say, okay, I'll put 30% in some risky stuff mm -hmm. and see how that goes. But my 70%, I want to put it in a safer investment. And what safer investment can there be Enough than real estate. estate when it is properly bought, you know, mm. when you know that this is good one and you put your money in it. So, you can expect that there will be a lot of 
real estate investment opportunities. Okay. Now, I, okay. okay. I think, I yeah, yeah, I want to say something. Yeah, because these days, Mr. Lebo, I noticed that most people don't really build from the scratch anymore. And they would rather choose to buy. Do you understand? I've got a couple of persons that went straight enough, up Chief into also said that. Oh, really? Last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So people would rather choose to buy instead of, I don't know, building from the scratch. So is, is in, this... In this? any... In any economy that is evolving, you should mm. expect that. Actually, it's laborious, if I'll put it that mm. way. Oimbo. Eh, not to <laughs> <laughs> It's labor intensive. Yeah. So it takes a lot yeah, of to be building mm. yourself. A lot of times when people say they want to build themselves, mm. they don't know what they are getting into. When a number of them finish that project and they'll be sincere with themselves, they realize that they've spent more money. Mm. And probably oh, really? Only... So you actually spend more money? Ah, building they've from spent this... more money. And maybe the only advantage left is that, they, well, they were able to build to uh, their taste. particular taste. Maybe they, are, they have their property structure in particular. I want my city room to look like this. Mm. I want my bedroom. Maybe that's what they will achieve. But in terms of savings, uh, mm. A lot of times they end up, I can tell you, well, there are no statistical facts mm. to back that mm. up, but I can tell you that more people who go into self-build without that experience, not that it's their area of competence, mm. they end up spending more money on that project mm. than, than they would have. If they had bought. If they had bought. Because it's not like they were saving money at mm. all, but they just got what they, what they... So in any economy as it's evolving, particularly depending on how people are raising money to be able to afford it. Mm. You know, a lot of people build now for two reasons. One is that they don't have that money stashed somewhere. Yeah. So they have to go gradual, milestone, yeah. incremental time, building. Yeah. They will buy land, then rest mm. small. Do <laughs> foundation. They buy land for five years. Rest. Now, yeah. mm. Do foundation, rest. Do block work, rest. So that in 10 years, or like my dad, in 19 years, <laughs> they will complete a, 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 a block of flat, a, a block of six flats, you know, in 19 years, from mm. 1996 to like 19... 1976 to like 1995, you know, yeah, that's how long it took my dad. So that happens, okay, in, uh, for a lot of people, that happens. But so, like I said, mm. depending on how they are funding, because they don't have the money. Now, mm. if you must get mortgage, if you want to go to the mortgage institution, of course, mortgage bank won't give you money for a property that is not on ground. So that is why they would be buying properties that are already built. Hmm. Okay, that's why they would buy properties that are already built. Then also, just to wrap up as some of, because there will be a lot of investment in real estate, you should also know already that that also means that real estate industry will be awash with both good, <laughs> and bad. bad, and, and the <laughs> ugly <laughs> options for you. It's now left for you as the investor, as the buyer, because the rule of the game is caveat emptor. Mm. Is buyers That's beware. beware. Whoever is selling to you will tell you of everything course, and things. anything you yeah. need to know, you know? Mm. Or sometimes they don't even know any better. So they are telling you what they know. Yes, okay? Yes, but yes. the onus is on you to be able to, I mean, determine whether this is what it sought or, or what's your investment mm. or not. And that way, if you want to do that, you then have to be a responsible investor. What I mm. call a responsible investor. I say, put on your thinking cap, ask your questions, do your inspection, do your own diligence. diligence. You know, you have to, because look, a lot will come to you and tell you fantastic returns on investment, mm. tell you fantastic things about uh, the location and things. And sometimes they are not even, I mean, we sold some projects some years ago when uh, the governor said they want to do railroad from Costain to uh, Dagri. Hmm. You know, since when they did that, that was since um, Governor Raji Fashola's tenure. Hmm. That project ought to have been completed before he even left. That project is still ongoing as hmm. we speak. But if we were selling that time, guess what? That was information available. And hmm. they gave date and time, and the contractor oh. was on site. So what hmm. will we tell you? We'll tell you, ah, rail is hmm. going to pass through this so place. You have the to. rail is going mm -hmm. to be ready and all mm -hmm. of that. But all of us are in that uh, situation that the rail is not ready yet. <laughs> Do you understand? I mean, yes. So you have to put on your thinking cap. Sometimes they know what they are telling you. Sometimes they don't you mean do it even, yeah, uh, that, that way. way. Or at other times, like I said, there are people that are also hard there to just scam you of your money. Hmm. So you just need to be the one that will be responsible. Take a, take a neutral party. One of the things I tell people, if hmm. you don't know what, it may not necessarily be a lawyer because, I mean, take a neutral party that knows about real estate. Lawyers know about documentation a lot. Lawyers know about documentation hmm. probably a lot. But 
there are other things in real estate beyond just documentation. So mm. take a real neutral person that can tell you the truth, that can advise you and counsel you to take your decision. Because like I said, there will be the good, the bad, and the ugly. Lastly, VATS. Mm. In the real estate industry now, when you are buying, with the new amendment to the Finance Act mm. of 2020, you don't need to pay VAT anymore. So you don't need to pay VAT on your real estate transactions, really? uh, purchases, land or house, and also by implication, your rental properties. You are not you are not needed to pay VAT anymore. So that reduces amount of money needed yeah, yeah. to secure real estate investment in year 2020. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so I think I think we are going to leave it here, right? They will me. Okay, so obviously Mr. Ebo is going to continue. That means we are still going to go into property market review for next uh, week. No, no, no. I think we, we, are, we are done. done. We have done reviewed for now. enough. We've reviewed <laughs> enough for two <laughs> sessions. We'll, we'll, we'll take on another topic next week. Okay, we so guys, means you don't want to miss it. We need to go for a quick break and obviously Mrs. Miss, Adela like they join us in the studio. <laughs> I want to go to Dubai, you. Yes, so. Yola. Mm -hmm. I, want, go. <laughs> I want to go to Dubai, yo. Let's go to Dubai now. Good to, good to have you again on the show. You do. You look I'm good. Fine. Thank you. You're not looking bad. You know. What can a small girl do? <laughs> 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 with a big god. <laughs> with a big god. <laughs> okay, so what, what more do we need to know? Yes, yes. That's um, Fair Feed Apartment at Abijo. Recently, we've been having a lot of um, offers for houses. Okay affordable houses that mm -hmm. they can spread by, um, their payment plan. So we went out and we got us this apartment at Abijo. Okay. For those that don't know Abijo, Abijo is just the bus stop after Shongo mm. And this place, with the way it's coming up, it's going to be a very good offer okay. presently. Mm. First and foremost, a bedroom apartment is going for 11 million naira. Mm. All inclusive. You don't have to pay any other fee. Just 11. And as a governor's consent. So everything mm. that you are entitled to, you the documentation it. you are getting is with that, with that 11 million naira. The two bedroom is going for 16 million naira, all inclusive as well. Then the three bedroom is going for 21 million naira, all inclusive. With an initial deposit of 4 million naira, mm. you can get started. You spread your balance over 12 months. Oh. 12 months. Okay. 12 months. But you know, there are some cases, some people will be like, oh, I can't do 12 months, this and that. Mm -hmm. I work, I partner with some mortgage banks as well. So okay. if you want to do more, we can talk about that. Hmm. But from if the you company, want to know more about that, you yes. can talk about uh -huh. that. Okay. When you call or when you, when you send um, a text. But from the company, they are doing 12 months. And I think they've tried because some companies will tell you it is outright. Mm. Then the other good part of it is that that your four millionaire will take you to Dubai for some days, you know, to just go and relax. Let's just say it an appreciation. Is it before I get? Is it after I finish paying you? No. Or once I pay the four millionaire. Once you pay the four millionaire, Dubai, yeah, I come. As late as. So it's all about Fairfield Apartment today for those that are asking. But we'll still go back to Ekpe. <laughs> <laughs> it is Ekpe, our Ekpe, <laughs> our own Ekpe, <laughs> our own Ekpe. Yeah. Because Ekpe right now mm. is everything that. That matters mm. when it comes to land banking. Hmm. And our place from 400,000 naira, kere, 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 it is now 800,000. It's increasing. It is now 800,000, effective from 15th. Oh. And it's still going. Ah. It is not stopping. Hmm. Good thing is that you can pay, you can spread your balance for these two, your payment plan. Three months, six months, 12 months. Ekpe. Ekpe, 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 ekpe. <laughs> then she's singing the ekpe. <laughs> ekpe, oh. Ekpe, oh. I know where it's so far anymore. There's nothing like it. Yeah. It's, it's not even far again. Ekpe is not even far again. Ekpe is not far. Ekpe, you could do that like backyard. Because once you get to Eleko, you're looking at ekpe in front of you like this. Hmm. Once you get to Eleko, you'll be like, ah. Ekpe, lo a lo coin. That is it. Then for the mainland lovers as well, mm. we have something for you as well. Okay. For land. Magboro. Magodo, mm -hmm. Arepo, Mowe, Shagamu Interchange. It's like you have something for everybody. Everybody, oh. Mm -hmm. As long as you just, you know, you come and you're like, ah, this is what I want to do. Don't worry. There's always a plan for everybody. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about Fairfield and Ekpe for today. It's like are the two major ones you for have for today. today. Okay. Because this Fairfield is a very nice offer. 
Mm. The construction is ongoing, as we can see. It is not something okay. that is... It is not audio. Okay. It's real. It is real. All you have to do is just book an inspection. Let's go on. That's, that's the entrance. Mm. Work is ongoing in that place. And before you say boom, it's of finished. And what you're getting for 11 million naira today, mm. you might end, it, end up getting it for 20 something million naira tomorrow. Mm. So it's all about foresight. Just like Mr. Debo said, foresight is all that is needed. Then, when it comes to properties, you want to buy property with us, there's no anki panki. Call us. We'll take you to to sites. At least before I, even before I pay, I can check now. At uh -uh. least I can like check what I want to pay when for. When it's not as if you are buying no jaw cooking. Ah. You will come to sites. You will go to the office. Do your due diligence. They are all genuine. There's mm. nothing There's nothing shady about what Queen Adi Reuters does. Mm. But for today, it is Fairfield Apartments. A big job. <laughs> when I told a client, mm. when he was asking me, what's the... What's the landmark? Mm. I said opposite Corona School. <laughs> <laughs> he was like Corona. Ah. I said that, not that, not that kind of Corona. <laughs> it is a school. Okay. That's oh, always oh, been oh, there. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, and it's opposite Abidjo Jari. So Fairfield is is sweet. It's a sweet offer. Hmm. Anybody can just come on board for it. Then don't forget the bed too. Why you are buying a house? Buy a land that will appreciate over time hmm. for you. Buy in your name. Buy in your wife's name. Buy in your daughter's name. Buy in your son's name. Buy in my buy in, name. Uh, buy in uh, Slimmy's name. <laughs> then buy in your loved one's name. Even your maid that you love. You can buy, in, buy, yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, so to appreciate. Let's just, let's, let's make it work. 2021, nobody is sleeping on it this year. No. Uh, nobody. Right now, that's like the go-go. Yes, yeah, so you can get started. The earlier, the better. the better. And once you start, you will finish. If you don't start, you, you, have you can't to talk start about, to finish. you can't talk about investment when you have not purchased it. Mm. You can't talk about um, returns or yeah, appreciation you've yeah, when you've not, not bought. Yeah. It is when you have somewhere or something that you start talking about, oh, it's appreciation value mm. as at now, as at today. Yeah, so that's yes. all we have for so today. You can even just buy and and, and keep. Because yes. obviously they always appreciate. All right. Over so, time. All right. Thank you so much. Like, definitely, we're going to see you next week, Abby. Of course. I'll be together in this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be your PA. <laughs> no, let's be partners. It's more like, better I think it's we... more like that. It's uh -huh. better like that. It's better. <laughs> <than> <laughs> All right, then. Thank you so much for coming. And numbers, obviously, now be see I'm on top of the screen. Just in case you've got questions, uh, you get anything we want to discuss with her, please feel free to call the number. We've been displayed on our screen. We need to go. Thank you to everybody. We've been partake for the show today. Join us again next week, Tuesday, but the breakfast should continues tomorrow morning. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.